Hey everyone, Rob Pranick, Editor-in-Chief here at The Prince Review. Thanks as always for tuning in to yet another edition of our Vocabulary Builder series where we help you expand your personal lexicon and prepare to crush the SAT, ACT, GRE, LSAT, and many more standardized tests. But the benefits, my friends, do not stop with tests alone. You're simply going to write better essays with these vocab muscles backing you up. So without further soliloquy, friends, the word that we'll be discussing today is compliment. Now that's compliment with an E, not its fantastic homonym, compliment with an I. Our compliment, like its homonym, can be used as both a noun and a verb. It's versatile, folks, as a noun. Compliment refers to something that completes another thing or makes it better or more perfect. As a verb, to compliment means to add something that makes another thing complete or perfect. Now, that said, though their meanings differ, it is easy, super easy, to confuse compliment with an E and compliment with an I. They are both confirmed wonderful things indeed, but here's a quick summary, a quick example that illustrates the difference between the two. Here we go. The peanut butter in this sandwich really compliments with an E the jelly. I just had to compliment with an I myself for making such a delicious snack. Now, folks, undoubtedly you've heard of complementary angles in math. Now, complementary with an E, that is, when two angles are complementary, they add up to 90 degrees. That's, of course, a right angle. A complementary angle makes its complement more perfect or complete, or in this case, right. Of course, there is a reason that the two words complement with an E and complement with an I sound so similar. That's because both have roots in the Latin word complere, which means to complete or fulfill. But while complement with an E is still about completion, complement with an I usually refers to courtesy. As always, friends, we're hoping that you enjoyed today's videos. If you want to continue complimenting your knowledge and earning compliments daily on your vocabulary, then please do subscribe to our channel where we feature regularly study tips and live streams and admission advice and exam updates and much, much more. Rob Franick, Editor-in-Chief here at the Prince Review, signing off for today. Be well, folks.